Hey guys, Rudolph here, and I'm coming at you with my second episode in my Sony Vegas Pro 12 editing tutorials. Now, in this tutorial, we will be covering Magic Bullet Looks, which is an insane color correction that is beautiful when used correctly. So, Magic Bullet Looks is basically applying really nice color corrections to every single frame of a clip. Now, because it implies a really, really, really really beautiful frame it takes an extremely long time to render out magic bullet so I always recommend editing before you put the color correction on and then picking the color correction last or picking it before and then taking it off while editing because it will lag you just a little bit so I wouldn't recommend editing with magic bullet because you might lose some of your quality and you might not be as precise so I went ahead and I threw together a little bit of an edit this is the clip from hazards a clan war and I just threw it together the exact same way that I did earlier and put a different song in it so we can pick a nice color correction so in Magic Bullet Looks which is a plugin for Vegas if you need to download it just search Magic Bullet Looks for Vegas Pro 12 in YouTube but if you don't trust the tutorials I will make my own so you can get Magic Bullet Looks because I'm a very trustable person you can give me your social security number all your credit cards and everything and I still wouldn't do anything I promise but yeah so we're gonna go ahead and drop a default Magic Bullet onto my cinematic clip and because I do not I did not pick a color correction yet it's just going to have nothing on it so you click edit right here it's gonna pull up the magic bullet looks and once you get it open you're gonna see that frame that you assigned it to now one of the very first things that I like to do now I know a lot of people don't is apply a little bit of an exposure now exposure what it does is you can add a ton of brightness without really messing with the clip I really like to add a lot of exposure so let's go ahead and bring it to right about I usually bring it to an amount that doesn't harm the colors so let's go one point six and now we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of saturation which isn't going to be noticeable right now but I'm gonna go ahead and just pick a blue it'll apply a little bit but eh, it's not a lot to see now one of the other things that I usually like to do is give it a little bit of my diffusion. So we're gonna, I'm gonna pick a good diffusion actually. Let's see if we can find a good one. Mm. They, have, they have some on here, but I'm just gonna go ahead and make them from scratch. Put your diffusion on your mat, and now you get like this little bit of a blur. Now this is the one that you could pick a nice color on, which will apply to some of your exposure. So. I'm gonna go ahead and do like a like should I do like a dark blue? Do like a light blue? I'll probably do a red. I've never tried a red before. Yellow. Let's try like a red and then change actually let's bring the brightness all the way up. So now we have a little bit of red applying to all of our bright areas. Now we could change our exposure to make this blue completely disappear so it would light up everything. But we're just gonna leave it on this little bit of a fade of red. And now we're gonna go ahead and add some. Let's see, what else could we add? All right, we can add a little bit of a haze on our lens. Now, what this basically does is gives you another bit of a blur. Now let's pick the same color. And now we got a double red. And should we go brighter? Ew, no, we should definitely not go brighter. Let's go. Let's go red. Alright, so now we have a little bit of a red color correction, and that is just basics. You just apply stuff and, you know, mess around with it and see what happens. But that is basics of how to make a teeny little color correction. Actually, I think we should add a little bit of a contrast, too. Color contrast. Mm -hmm. Let's just add a contrast. And change it to... And now, once you have made a suitable color correction that you feel like you want to use, just go ahead and click on the finish button and it will bring you back and you will already have that color correction applied to the clip. So just go to the edit again and now you have this color correction that you just made. But if you want to change it, you have to go to edit, otherwise it's just going to appear like this. Now, well, I'm going to go ahead and give it a name so I can use it more. So let's name this episode 2 because this is my tutorials episode 2 we'll save this preset and now we have an episode 2 somewhere in here 
Yeah, they're not in ABC order. They're weird. But now we have an episode two, so we can just go to our second clip, grab the episode two, and drop it on. Uh, screw this box, and now we have our little color correction. Now, it's not insane, but it is still a pretty nice looking color correction in my opinion. So. Now we have a nice color correction. Let's say you want to add it to your intros just because you're a boss. So let's add our color correction that we just made to our intros. And yeah, I think that looks pretty nice. Add it to this one. What? That actually looks pretty sick. I like it. Now that you have added your color corrections, you have beautifulness all over your clips. Now let's say that instead of doing all that, I just wanted to be easy and I always wanted all these clips to have the color correction on. You can just grab it and drop it on here. Now you have your color correction on all of your clips. But now that I just did that, I have double. So if you ever do that, go ahead and go to every single one of your clips. Either uncheck it or delete it. And it will only have one on it instead of having two. So now, take it off real quick. Uncheck this one. And uncheck the last one. Which actually looks kind of nice like that. Hold on. Hold on. Oh. Okay, no, it doesn't. <laughs> Let's go ahead and take some of that off. That is too much red. Too much red. And that's the perfect amount of red. So, if you like this tutorial, please try it out for yourself. Get Magic Bullet Looks, you know, put it on your Vegas and see what you can do. Show me the color corrections that you guys can make. So that was basics on how to use Magic Bullet Looks on Sony Vegas Pro 12. And I will go ahead and render this out so you can listen to the beautiful music and you can hear this tiny little edit that I just made. And let's actually give it a little bit of a fade because fades are beautiful. Actually, wait, hold on. I knew it. This clip completely froze. I knew it. It's got to end right about. See, this is the lag that I'm talking about right here. If you don't want to experience the lag, you just uncheck it. You can recheck it later. Now. Let's find the last frame that he's running on right about there. Oh, there. Go ahead and grab it. Give it a little bit of a beautiful fade. Actually, yeah, that's fine. And now we have magic bullet looks on our thing. Oh, wait, no, we don't. We just took it off. Now we have magic bullet looks on our edit. And I will render this out so you can all check it out. So, as always, thanks for coming by. Click the like button, subscribe, and do whatever it is you do on Call of Duty. I sag my jeans, box and show an outsider, don't talk to no one. I'm too real and pops is frozen. Ill lifestyle is shopping clothing. Club so hot, a nose is frozen. Kinda feeling like overdosing. Uncontrollable, no controlling. Drive around town and something stolen. Conventional wisdom, boss is closed in. You trapping that, I'm unfolding. Brain implode, heart exploding. I'll fuck you up, leave you molding. You can't tell me what to do, and you can't tell me what to think. And you can't tell me how I feel. Wanna smoke this weed and pop this pill. Mom, um, pops, principal police, never listen to what authority told me. Out of control, you can't hold me Out of control Detention, like I've been duly Break all your rules, I wanna do me Fuck your authority, you can't hold me I'm out of control I don't know where I'm going No matter where you wanna get there Living Fuck your authority, you can't hold me I'm out of control I don't know where I'm going No matter where you wanna get there